This video is going to show you how to get your MPK Mini Play pads, Q links, and keys to work with the MPC software. Check it out! What's up? My name is Matthew Stratton. On this channel, I like to do videos to help you create music. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So what I want to show you is how to get your encoders to work and your pads to work within MPC Beats. So I'm just going to open up a basic template. Once the template's loaded up, go ahead and go to your menu, go to edit, and then go to preferences. Once you're within the preferences, you need to go over here where it says MIDI slash sync. So nothing's connected now, so you need to make sure you have your MPK Mini Play plugged into your computer with the included USB cable. Now once that's plugged in, if you have this right here set on USB power, that's going to be your preferred way. And then right here, it's going to show up MPK Mini Play MK3. And we can see it shows up right there. Now by default, track is selected here. What we got to do is push control to on. You can see how it went from that gray color to a white color. Now, when you turn this on, that's going to enable your pads and your encoders here to control MPC beats in the way that you want them to control it. And let me show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to press OK. Now to the right here, we need to make sure we have this clicked in. Okay, so we have this right here. It says MIDI learn. The important thing to do here is to enable this. So if this is not enabled, you need to enable this. So if it's turned off, make sure you do enable it. Once you have MIDI learn open, make sure you're on global. Once you go to global, right here on the far right, there's going to be something where you can click on it and then click new MIDI map. Once you click that, you're going to get a blank slate. So what that's going to enable you to do is assign all the pads manually. So once you get a new MIDI map open and you have it enabled, you need to click on learn. Now, once that is clicked, you can see how a bunch of things now highlight. These are all the different things that you can assign to your MIDI controller. So I'm going to start with the pads. Down here, we need to click pad A01. Once you click that, you're going to be able to assign your pad 1 on your MIDI controller to that pad in the software. Once you have all these pads assigned, you're going to be able to use things like pad perform and the pad perform is going to work for you. So yeah, basically you just go one by one. So once we click pad one in the software, we're going to tap pad one on the physical controller. Once I tap that, you notice over here, it actually shows up right here. So we just keep going in this manner until all 16 pads show up. So this is pad two. This is pad three, pad four, pad five, pad six, pad seven, and pad eight. Now you might be thinking, where do I get pad nine through 16? And how you do that is you actually push right here. It says pads A slash B. So if you press that, it's going to give you the next set of pads. It's going to change these eight pads to a new set of pads. So now you can go to pad nine here and then pad one can be tapped. And once you tap that, it's gonna assign pad nine to the second bank. Then we can go pad 10, okay? Pad A11, pad A12, okay? And this is gonna be pad A13, pad A14, 15, and then pad 16. Now please note, pad A01 is right here, says 36, and then it goes to 37, 38, 39, all the way up to 51. And all of that is signified over here on the right as well. So at this point, our pads are completely programmed to work with the software. And what we can do now is move on to the encoders on the MPK Play. Now the MPK Play, does have eight different encoders that you can go ahead and program. Four of them at a time can be used. So you can see there's four encoders here. And then there's a button here that says knobs A and B. So it's gonna work similar to the pads. So let's go ahead and click over here where it says view and we can go to Q-Links. Okay, and that's just gonna show us the Q-Links that we do assign when we do assign them. And then down here, you can see that this yellow is highlighted so all we have to do is turn the first encoder. Okay, so that encoder is going to be assigned with the first Q-Link. So, so let's click on the second Q-Link and then turn the second encoder. Let's click the third Q-Link 
and then turn the third encoder, and then the fourth Q-Link and the fourth encoder. So now we have Q-Links one through four mapped out on our physical controller. And what we can do is hit this knobs button. So go ahead and press that knobs button. It's gonna give us four new knobs. So we can go ahead and click the fifth Q-Link and then turn this first knob again. Okay, so if we click that, turn that first knob, we're gonna be in business. Let's click the second row here. So this is what Q-Link, this is Q-Link six, and then turn the second knob. This is Q-Link seven, let's turn this third knob. This is Q-Link eight, let's turn this last knob here. So now we have eight different Q-Links assigned. Once we're all done assigning that, what we can do is turn learn off. Make sure you do turn learn off or you're going to accidentally program something that you don't need to program and then you might get confused. All right, so after you do that, you're gonna be good to go with your pads. So I'm gonna put my headphones on just so I can hear this pad. So that's pad A09. Now if I go down to pad bank A, that's pad A01. It does work just fine. So when that's done, we can press this and we can get rid of that. We got more real estate for what we're actually doing here on the screen. And, you know, we can go through our tracks. So let's see this keys. So now we can use our pad and pad perform mode. You see pad perform? Right there, we got a C major scale that we can play on the pads. It works perfectly, you know, and then we can go into pad perform and adjust all of these parameters how we want and then be able to play different scales. So if I wanted to do D major scale, got a D major scale. If I want to do chords, I can go in here and do my chords. And if I wanted to go to the next bank, just press that pad button right there. Just like that. Now let's say I want to change the actual program level of this. I can go back to that first bank of knobs, use this first encoder. If you look on the screen, you can see the program level does change. So I could turn it up, I could turn it down. Now, if you just got the MPK Play and you haven't registered it and activated the software that does come with it, go ahead and click and tap the screen right there. That's gonna take you to a video I did that's going to show you how to actually register your MPK Mini Play and then download and activate all the software that comes with it, including Hybrid 3 and Velvet and the Mini Grand. If you found this video helpful, remember to give it a thumbs up below and share it if you do know someone who needs help. My name is Matthew, continue to create music, and we'll talk soon.